Hi everyone, my name is Margaret and in 2021 I designed a COVID memorial. The main inspiration behind it is my mom. She passed away from COVID in September 2020 and I miss her with a vengeance. She was my last family member and it's only me and my cat. There is lying in the back. <laughs> um, that's left of our small little family. If you're wondering about the car, my trusty Corolla has been my home. I've been living in my cars for the past four months. And yeah, that's enough about me. So the memorial is to honor our loved ones that have passed away and to thank the medical community for the stellar job that they did during lockdown. Um, I don't think we always, we fully realize or will ever fully realize just what they went through. Then um, to create jobs, these memorials can create a lot of jobs. Uh, welcome to go and look at all the documents for more details, in-depth details. They will be loaded onto the Instagram handle, uh, which will be here on the Backer Buddy site. Um, then also, because this is such a big project and it needs to be done correctly, and I'm full of nonsense that way, I went and did it to myself to work through government. <laughs> Starting out with the Western Cape, uh, Western Cape government, then escalating to Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. And I got them in writing where they state that if it's privately funded and built on private property, we only need to look at the heritage aspect. And they referred me to Heritage Western Cape, who I contacted and they love the project. And they've been so helpful with guidance and so, but they also can't get involved with the fundraising and stuff for obvious reasons. I prefer that we do it ourselves. It's, it's part of our healing process. Um, and they just, they're gunning that I apply for heritage status once it's been built and opened. So, the budget, it's 40 million, it's a huge amount of money, but, break it down, I need minimum of 40, 400,000 South Africans that each donate 100 Rand, and we're building this. My charities are Ladles of Love, Super Troopers, as well as my old congregation that's going to be beneficiaries of this. They're going to get funds. They're also going to be other ones um, as time goes on and I find my feet and appoint staff to help me because I've been al alone in this whole thing. And yeah, we are South Africans. We need to show the world how it's done, how we heal ourselves. We need a small spark of hope, even if we just start out in this little corner of the Western Cape doing this, we need to do it. We need to start somewhere and create some positivity and hope again. We need it. Guys, I need your support, please. I can't do it without you. Thank you very much for taking the time and to look and listen. Take care. Cheers.